Hey guys. Hey, here with you again. Walking on Beach Road right now. Here in Patia, the bars are happening. It's pretty full in here. The Red Cat. A lot of tourists, a lot of people right now. People hanging out. And uh, yeah, showing you guys Beach Road. It's right here, Patia. And uh, we got Soy 8, and then we're gonna walk down Soy 7, and we're gonna talk about the bar scene here. And there's a bunch of bars down Soy 8, 8 right there. But we're going down Soy 7, and we're just gonna talk about what the bar scene is here. And uh, it's a couple of different ways to look at it. I can guarantee you it's going to be nothing like your home country. If you guys are from the US, bar scene in Thailand is, there's nothing like it. If you're from other countries, I haven't been to Australia yet. I don't know what Australian bar culture is like, but I can tell you the culture here is very different uh, with the bar and club scene for sure. And they're everywhere. And you're gonna see that coming up here on Soy 7 which we're just about there. And we're gonna talk about it right now. So thanks for hanging out with me. If you like this type of culture, be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe. This is our one take video. And uh, we're talking bar scene. So let's take a look. All right. All right, so here in Pattaya, Thailand, it's known for its bar culture. It's going out culture. Again, it's not gonna be anything like you've seen in your own country. At 50 years old, when I walk into a bar, I'm highly accepted. And just let you guys know, I don't drink anything. I mean, I drink Coca-Cola and Swep's Manal. I don't drink anything. And you'll see the, there's tons of girls here but there's different types of bars. So we have the beer bars where those have people just wanting to drink beer, hang out and just drink beer. And you'll see all the bars up and down the street. And it gets pretty crazy. And uh, also here in Patia, you have the cannabis bars, which are the bars that serve cannabis. Yeah, these, so we're gonna get ready to pass all the regular beer bars here right behind me. Those are gonna be your beer bars. And uh, again, you go there, have a beer, hang out with your friends, get a soda pop, whatever you guys might want. I drink, like I said, I'm drinking soda pop, but I like to have a good time. I, I don't drink any alcohol very rarely. If someone buys me a drink, I'll have something. But other than that, these are the beer bars. So there you go. Kitty, you like beer bars? You do. <laughs> Kitty doesn't like beer bars too much, but I'm glad she smiled and said yes. What's cool? Get some street food right here, guys. So you won't go hungry at the beer bars you'll be able to find food. So average price of a beer, I've seen it as low as 55 baht, which essentially is like a buck 50, all the way up to 120 baht per beer, which would be over three bucks. So typically you're only gonna spend a dollar 50 to three dollars for a beer. A lot of times you start buying beers, you get a couple of free ones. But you guys, you must be aware. Keep track of your ticket. Don't get drunk. Because there's stories out there of people saying, I only drink four or five drinks and they'll have 50 drinks on there. So you gotta be aware of that. How much are you guys drinking? But not only that, are you buying beers for all the ladies? If you ring that bell, typically you're buying beers for everybody. Not only the ladies, but everybody in the bar. Oop, squeezing through. 
So the bolt drivers, the taxi cab drivers will take you right to the bar if that's what you want to do. So this is Soy 7. The big difference between Soy 7 and the 6 is the 6 is just both sides of beer bars. Ladies hanging out everywhere. We're here on Soy 7, you get a mix. Beer bars, restaurants. You got different streets on the side there. And uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. It's not bad. Again, I'm not a big bar and beer scene here. It's not my thing. But I'll go out with my friends every once in a while. If you come to Patty and you let me know, we'll go out. Cool thing about here, everybody's so nice. You just say, no, I don't want this, don't want that, or you want this. And people aren't out there to bug you and pester you. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but you know, the girls are coming here to work, make money, sell you beer. And uh, look at all this. Woo. That is a busy massage parlor right there, guys. So you'll have the massage parlors here on Soy 7. You only have a couple on the 6. Look at my last video, click it, check out Soy 6. But here, I wanted to walk Soy 7 today, not only show you and talk to you about the bar scene, but you got A7 DJ bar, which right inside here does a live stream every Sunday night. You can check them out every Sunday night. They do their live stream. And it's a pretty good show. It's funny as heck. If you're into the whole monger and bar scene, definitely they do a good show right there. A lot of fun. But yeah, this is one of the popular bars here on the 7. And it's definitely good times. So yeah, we're hitting the end of Soy 7 right now. As you can tell, it's pretty crazy and it's early. It's only five o'clock. So every Sunday at five o'clock, tune in to A7 DJ. Actually go to Nick Dean at YouTube and uh, check out his channel. He does his podcast. His podcast gets, I would say 400 to 600 people watching and commenting at the time it's being taped and then several thousand during that week definitely check out his podcast it's actually pretty cool uh the other different types of bars you got the beer bars the restaurant bars then you got the go-go bars go-go bars are pretty much girls standing on a stage trying to sell you alcohol and you buy them a drink I actually don't find those that greatest uh or the most entertaining we're gonna walk across the street because it smells yeah let's go across the street katie all right. Yeah, it smells not good right there. Uh, I said that was the last type of bar, but honestly, we got another type of bar, and that is the Gentleman's Club. If you want kind of a quiet atmosphere, hang out with your buddies, talk, have a girl approach you, that's fine too. The biggest difference I noticed between these bars and the bars in the States is the girls will all approach you. They'll approach you, they're not just trying to sell you stuff, they're doing their job, but they'll sit with you, have a conversation, and all you have to say is, oh, no, thank you, I'm here with my buddies. Hey, Kitty, we got another minute left. Walk that way, or walk that way? That way? Which way do you wanna walk? Let's go that way towards uh, Soy 8. Yeah, we'll, we'll pan the camera down Soy 8. Let you guys look. So this is what Thailand's like right now. Five o'clock. So you saw Soy 7, talked about the bars, the bar scene, a little bit of bar scene. I'm hoping you guys are able to hear it. Again, if you like this type of content, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Leave me a comment if you like it. Leave me a comment if you don't like that type of content. Because if you don't like it, I don't want to be producing it. I had several people request this type of content saying they prefer the more natural content rather than edited videos so that's what i'm doing so definitely check that out anyways guys we're just gonna get down this street 
I swear to you, on massage room right now, we got massage parlors all over the place here. We'll do a video on massage maybe next. How about that? We'll talk about massages. What do you guys think? Should we do that video? I think that'd be cool. Anyways, guys, to the next video, I'm going to point the camera down, Soy 8. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and uh, we're almost there. Almost at the Soy 8. So I try not to point the camera at the girls. They don't like it. So I tell you what, let's do Soy 8 next time. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, check out my Soy 6 video. Until the next video, I'm out of here.